Hi, this is Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and today I'm going to be reviewing Stargate by Roddy McGee. Before I do that, very important message, I don't usually say this, but can you please like, subscribe and check out cardmagiccourse.com for over 200 videos of all the card moves you will ever need and I'm just going to start a new project on there which I'll let you know about very soon, but loads of stuff going on there uh, every month. Okay, so this is uh, Roddy's, oh, I don't know, before this it was, little, well the, the big one was Little Door that I reviewed and then flux and gone fishing there's a few different things come out always known for kind of doing these quite odd unique tricks he's a, he's a great thinker and franken dose sorry that was the the one which i kind of reviewed on my best tricks of last year uh and he whenever i get a trick from him i get excited i know it's going to be interesting it's going to be unusual and i really look forward to playing with it this one is I think he knows it's not one of those tricks that's a closer. It's a, as he mentions, it's a moment of, of oddness and unusualness. If that's a word, is that a word unusualness? I don't know, but there you go. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, but it's 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 one of those things that makes people kind of and, and sort of do that 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 double take thing. And if you look at the footage that I put in the performance video, you know there was a moment of that when I did it in the cafe when they see that they're not expecting it. And I love, I love that about it. So it's very quick. It's a quick hit. It's something that's going to be really unusual, get people talking. Uh, and you know, it's, it's very unpretentious in that way. I'll, I'll show you now. Now don't sort of, obviously we're on video here and you're not going to be performing it in this situation, but if you put the, you put the pen through there, you mention a, a wormhole and there is a, there is obviously a performance of this and you can you can sort of show it there and you just slide the hole down there show them that it comes through the deck like that and that's a lovely moment and then you can you can do all of that you can hand this out by the way it does take a little bit of a a move so to speak of something there is gimmick but it's quite easy and you time it you know they're going to want to look at the pen if you see again they they kind of bang the pen, pen on the on the table and the, the, the pens that, that they think is a weird thing. So you've got all the time to do what you need to do. The good points about, oh, by the way, what you get, you get the, the card box, um, which is what they can look at, which has got a couple of holes in it and nothing to see. You get an extra gimmick and the, the, the Sharpie is not as it seems as well. So one of the things I would say is be careful when you sort of, for storage, and by the way, for storage, I use one of these um, that you can get for a couple of quid. It's hub and it just it just stays in there with everything except the sharpie. So be really careful that you don't forget that the sharpie's part of it. This one's marked uh, and it's really important because <laughs> the other day I went like that and it was the wrong one and nothing occurred, which is great. So yeah, don't forget that. So the sharpie, you, you, you get all that obviously ready to go. There is a you've got to kind of put something together, but you really haven't. It's it's very obvious. You peel something off and stick two things together and you're ready to go. But do watch the instructions because you can get that wrong if you don't do it properly. There's a little tweak that you've got to be careful of. Uh, the instructions are great. Roddy talks to you right through it in, in, in a lot of time, goes into detail, and there's a couple of extra bits after that that he's thought of after he's done the original uh, instruction download. But it's, it pretty much is ready to go. Um, it's very easy. It's super easy. Um, you're going to be able to do it without much practice again you know talk yourself through it that you have got to be angle is the wrong word there is an angle to be aware of but you you can kind of do it all around it's it's, it's when you pull that hole down there's a place there's a way of doing it to put your hand to conceal something that if you're not careful maybe notice but probably not but super super easy it's very intuitive you, you know you don't feel like your hands have to go in any odd situation or anything like that it feels like they would be there anyway so Again, nothing to worry about there. I really, really like this. The, I like it because I enjoy doing it. I like it because it's easy. I like it because it's super quick. And with these tricks that aren't closers, that are moments, that are maybe part of a bigger thing, that's fine if they're not super long. The problem I have is if you have this whole build-up and then you do something that, that isn't a, 
a huge closing. Now, th those tricks that have a build-up need to have a big payoff. This one happens very quickly. The whole tutorial I did was one minute the other day, which is very unusual for me, even with the explanation, you know. The wormhole explanation, you do the thing, you put it back, and it's just a lovely thing. So very quick, very snappy, uh, and just really unusual, which is what I love about it. Downsides, I suppose, are those things if that's not what you want. Um, it's a card box, so you're going to have to be careful with it, like with storage and things like that. You could lose the Sharpie, but not really. But nothing else, really. If you like the effect, that's the effect you're going to get. And like I said, people do like it. Who can't like a really unusual thing like that? It, it just gets the imagination going. And, of course, you can build stories around it and everything. Uh, so there it is. There's my uh, recommendation from me, as always, from Roddy. And I suppose there's a little bit of confirmation bias there. I kind of want to like it. But if you like that effect, that is the effect your audience is going to see. Uh, and it's great. So there you go. Stargate from Roddy McGee. The links will be down below. Please like, subscribe and comment. And if I've forgotten to mention anything, do ask a question. And I will, of course, answer it. Because I always forget something that is pretty important. Uh, oh, reset. Yeah, straight away. Uh, reset very, very quick. There you go. Remembered it. Uh, have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.